Having just a few settings wrong in OBS could kill your stream quality. The number one misconception about streaming is bitrate. There are three things that apply to bitrate. One is the upload speed you have available from your internet. You can find this at speedtest.net. The second is the ingest rate of the platform servers. For instance, Twitch accepts a maximum bitrate of 6,000, while YouTube accepts a whopping 51,000 bitrate. So if your internet has six megabits of upload, that means you can upload a bitrate of 6,000. But just because you can use a bitrate of 6,000 doesn't mean you should use it. And the reason for that is this guy right here, transcoding. Hey, nice transcoding is digital to digital data conversion. It's the process of converting a single bit of data into multiple differently sized bits of data. When it comes to streaming, transcoding will take your 1080p stream and make it available in different resolutions, therefore requiring less download from the viewer. Twitch, because of how amazing they are, limits transcoding as a resource. Transcoding is only available to non-partners as the resource becomes available. And you can assume that this resource is given to those non-partner streamers with the most viewers. So unless you're streaming to a decent sized audience and there aren't a lot of streamers on currently, you probably aren't going to get transcoding. You might be asking yourself, why is this important? Transcoding makes it so viewers can watch at a lower resolution, requiring less download and therefore removing the lag. This is something that makes YouTube pretty great as a platform. On YouTube, everyone that streams has transcoding options. So if you wanted to stream at 4K 60 FPS with a 51,000 bit rate, you can do so without harming your viewers experience. It's because of this that I suggest you stream at a max resolution of 720p on Twitch and just avoid streaming at 1080p altogether. In the description below, I have linked suggested bit rates for Twitch and YouTube based on the resolution and the FPS that you choose. Just keep in mind what I said about Twitch's transcoding. The keyframe interval setting is often confused and misexplained. While streaming, your encoder will use a video compression technique called inner frame prediction. This divides each frame into macro blocks and looks for redundant or similar information between each frame. This process is done by using interframes, aka keyframes, and delta frames. The delta frames store information from the macro blocks that appears redundant and repetitive and displays that in between each interframe. Keyframe interval sets how frequently that interframe gets rendered. This ultimately sets how much compression gets applied to the frames based on the information that has to be transferred through the delta frames. When someone joins your stream, their video won't fully load until a keyframe has been rendered. And that's why a keyframe interval of two is typically suggested for streaming. If you set a keyframe interval of five, that means it could take up to five seconds for the resolution and the bitrate to update on the viewer's end, leading to longer buffer times and the possibility of that viewer leaving the stream. Lastly, let's make sure our color settings are set up correctly. In OBS, we can set up our color range. We can do this for the application itself, and we can also do this for individual sources. Color range refers to the maximum and minimum luminance values within an image. For streaming, you should always keep the color range set to partial. You then need to select the correct color range for your sources. Typically, each source will be in the partial color range. The only times this would not be the case is if you're using a capture card like a Blackmagic Designs capture card that has a full color range. And if your device uses the MJPEG color format, that device will also be captured in the full color range. If you don't follow these guidelines, your sources will become either washed or overly dark. So make sure you have the partial color range set up within OBS and only select full color range if your devices specifically say they capture in a full 4x4x4 color range. I hope this video improves your overall stream quality. And if you're interested in growing your stream, check out this new new app here called Hover. It's made for Twitch streamers. It's like TikTok. It's a great way to get discovered.